about. But here, and especially here at Xeno, Palatana is the talk of the town. Yeah. So now you get a chance to see what happens with both of these characters being uh, better to some degrees. I think it goes without saying that Palatana got a bit better from what she was in her uh, Smash 4 iteration. But the the game has changed now, where a lot of what made this matchup difficult was the fact that Palatana can respond to the projectiles with a reflector and then solid aerials. Now it's sort of inverse. Her aerials are phenomenal, and she has to commit a lot harder to her reflector. She can't just put it out and spam it. Right. Yeah, we're seeing, I mean, the way Jen is fighting this one out, he's looking for some parries, but even after he's landing them, he's unable to get a follow-up. So it looks like Villager, and the way that Stocktaker is taking this matchup, just insanely, like, well-paced and in his advantage and keeping everything nice and slow. And uh, playing it safely, because you really don't want to get hit by Palu, because she hits super hard in this game. Yeah, one of the odd features of uh, Stocktaker, uh, in consideration of the, the high-level Villagers, is that... He in particular feels very comfortable against all of the terrible matchups the Villager. By that, I mean the ones like Mark, the ones like Cloud, Bayonetta, and most importantly, Palatena. He never worried about the character wow. because he had a lot of matchup experience. Uh, he attended college in upstate New York, and upstate New York happens to be home to one of the best Palatenas, Arch, who is still staying dedicated to this character. He stays in contact with him. So. Stock has a bit of that wealth of knowledge to uh, look at for what he needs to watch out for. And on top of that, he's been on fire lately. Not only is he going to be taking a lead in this game, but he's been performing phenomenally over at Aeon. He's holding down tournaments on Long Island very consistently with the duo of Villager and Wii Fit Trainer. Yeah, man, for sure. I mean, if we're going to talk about his, his winner's run, he took out King Ark, who was able to take a set off of uh, Light's Roy, I believe, coming through uh, pools. But then also, I mean, you want to look on the other side, Jen, he just got off a set fighting against Light, and fighting against Light, and then fighting against Stocktaker, complete day and night, like 100%. You got to change up your game plan. You got to be ready for it. It's not an aggressive fox who's going to be in your face. It's going to be this villager who's going to be sitting back and throwing the projectile. So let's see how Jen responds here. Good DI by Stocktaker, though. That Nair, pretty powerful KO option, but still not enough to take it yet. What a, ooh, what a tech, the awareness. That was so smart. Like you said, matchup experience shining through here. Yeah, this man is going to be living. And you bring up an interesting uh, aspect of play where it's like, yes, this is definitely nothing near Light's Fox. But it it's also a very strange song and dance when it comes to Villager because Stocktaker is also like unusually aggressive with the character. You're going to see a lot of his zoning is less holding the ledge, holding the sides and platforms and baiting in Jen and more establishing projectile pressure and moving that pr uh, pressure along the stage. Let's see what Jen can get here. I feel like Stock Stocktaker has just done such an amazing job getting out of the disadvantage and not letting Jen push it too much and then resetting the situation where his character is best uh, in terms of controlling the neutral. So Stock's just been doing a really good job of that. Like that little follow-up right there. Like looked like that was unsafe. Jen swung at him, but Stocktaker knew he could uh, nair safely and fight against Jen. So that was really nice. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of nair. It is the yeah. premier combo-breaking tool. It's a great get-off-me tool in many regards. And... In general, it's just a solid tool that Stock Takers managed to put great use into for the sake of just backing the opponents Ooh! off. <laughs> like a Tom and Jerry cartoon, the bowling ball from the top. You know, Palutena probably has like a lump on her head. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Watch those cartoons in the morning, but... <laughs> Stock Taker with the lead, which is exactly where you want. I mean, as any character in the cast, but when you play, you know, a zony character like Villager, you really want it, especially against a powerhouse like Palutena. And I feel like this is one of the meta matchups that if you play any type of zoning character, you have to take notes of. Maybe not Villager, but the idea that, like, you're constantly using your sh your short-range tools to keep the, uh, the Palutena in check. So, like, you're constantly seeing uh, Stock Taker threaten with Nair. Uh, he'll also break off with Jab just so he can set it up as a get off me tool, build up a little bit of damage. And when the tree is on board, knowing that the axe is always going to be at the ready as an out of shield option. Right. This is a very critical moment in this game one for Jen. I mean, he's in a fine position if he takes a stock soon, but he can't push it too much because that's exactly what Stock Taker is looking for. Let's see what he gets down throw up air. That is going to connect. And just like that, that's what I'm saying. Hey, man, that was really clutch by Jen. He really really needed the momentum to shift back into his favor. And he took just that and look at now we're looking for a Nair. Got the villager on the platform. Can't find a lot, but that Nair, man, the saving grace is Stocktaker in this game one. Yeah, like we've spent a good amount of time talking about how well Stocktaker's playing this matchup, but Jen is no slouch either. This may oh, be no taking way. place in loser's bracket, but Jen is one of the favorites to win tonight. Oh my God, that's, what, that's how you do it. You wait the entire game, you're behind, you let the villager feel comfortable, and then wham, just smack him down air off the stage. That was amazing, well played. And that was one of the, hold on, Let's watch this replay real quick. Yep. 
It's just, I feel like Stocktaker did such a good job getting out of exactly those situations all game, but Jen just finally landed that final. That was so clutch, dude. Jen just played so clutch. And it's Jen being very aware of habits of Stocktaker. You take note how he does a lot of uh, wall jumping and then coming up with an aerial. And it's so easy to catch that habit out with a down air. And in very explosive fashion, Jen's going to take game one. But game two is giving us a bit of a different dynamic. We're going to town and city, and that is not Villager on the board. That's going to be We Fit Trainer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, okay. Uh, yeah. okay. You, you're going to have to do your homework it's, for this dude, one. It's, dude, Xeno, man. Like, it's, it's, any character with a projectile is fair game in top eight at Xeno is how I feel. Any character that takes their time. Oh, uh, Jen with the, you know, we pointed out, but the costume change, too. It's a big one. I like the green. I like the green of Palutena, but either way, we're going to have, you know, a lot of people have been talking about We Fit Trainer a lot recently in terms of damage output, the way she can buff herself up and become this crazy powerhouse character. Right now, Jen looks like he has kind of a grasp. Oh my goodness, Those Jen. Those the stage? Yeah, that was it. That was it. The shield just poking right through. Jen taking care of business once again with that down air at the ledge. Just taking off with this uh, game two. I don't know, man. I feel like Stocktaker played so well game one. Like, I feel like he should have been feeling confident in the villager. He made one mistake off stage, and that's where he lost the game. But now that same mistake ends up getting highlighted immediately into game two. So right. it begs the question, like, was this a good switch to lose fit? Oh, he got parry. Oh, he's so brave with these parries. Those backers are so powerful. Oh, okay. Yo, the ball <laughs> just came back for round two. <laughs> Oh my god. The Jen, I'm telling you, man, like I really like the way he plays ultimate. He's been impressing me pretty much since day one. The way that he looks, you know, not just for the pairing, but the way he uses movement, the way that he goes off stage. Like he's just playing really, really strong ultimate right now, and that's what I'm looking for in players. Him, like, I feel like ZD is one of those players too. Oh boy, not a good air dodge right there by Stock Taker. Jen, commanding lead here. This is gonna be oh, uh, okay, Stock Taker. Stock Taker, Stock Giver, either uh. way. Gave that one up. I don't blame him because it would it would have been a really, really long, hard road uh, to get back in there and fight against Jen. Again, I'm saying, like, I feel like the villager, I, this is kind of hindsight, too. You know, obviously a little easier to yeah. say after after of what course, just happened, but I feel like his villager, it was just, he made one mistake off stage, but aside from that, he played, like, 98% really, really well against Jen game one. Maybe he just didn't, wasn't feeling it or something, but either way, he had a nice run today. Uh, that's for sure. Taking, uh, was that, fifth place? Yes, he is.